Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Looks like I don't have a lot of people on live today, so we'll see. We'll see if we get more people on live. And if not, I might cut this short and we'll talk a little bit tomorrow about some next step things that we need to do. So hope everybody is going doing great today. Sorry, I did not get an email or anything out this morning. Had to run my little one to school, which it's about 25 minutes away from our house. So it always kind of catches me a little bit to the side. So how hope everything everybody is doing well. If you're on live stream, let me know you're there. And we will just see here. Let's see. Let me go into the live stream. Let's see here. Where am I? Okay. Great. Okay. So there we go. Some participants, attendees. Hi, Donna. I can see you just popped in. I'm just giving it a second. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what what are how to kind of get into a good manifestation routine and how to stay connected with your sort of higher frequencies throughout the day. And then we're going to talk a little bit about next steps because I realized I've been doing daily trainings since July and I can probably tell you how many weeks we've been going, but kind of a long time, which is awesome. But we are going to start, we are, the daily trainings are going to come to an end because it's a lot, honestly, to keep going. And also it's been like nine weeks, I think, of daily training. So what we're going to do now is look to transition into more of a mastermind group that will be weekly trainings, as well as some other options for you guys. So let's talk about how do we keep ourselves moving forward in the most positive ways, aligning with the life of our dreams, no matter what basically is happening in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, so a lot of times we talked yesterday about how part of the manifestation process can certainly be that we can have these sort of healing crises, we can have these moments where everything kind of like scatters and goes apart and is just really overwhelming and it's that moment that we oftentimes want to kind of stop. But that's actually the moment when you've don't been doing this practice to keep on going and so that's one of the things I want to talk about. How do we have a, a simple practice each day? And, and if you've been creating your four for 40, you know that the, the idea, the design of it is genuinely to make sure that you can do this in the simplest way. Okay. So here's what I like to do. I like to start off in the morning with a morning practice. We talked at the beginning, and if you haven't seen some of those early trainings, the first few trainings, I like think at the, I want to say it was like the first week of August, but they'd be in the portal as well, as well as you can find them in the group. We talked about things like future journaling, right? And so that's one way to get yourself absolutely moving in the right direction, right out of the gate, being able to sit down and say, I'm taking control over my what I want, what I'm going to have throughout this day. I'm taking control over what I'm creating today. And I will say, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, and I've gotten a lot of messages from people who are very, very overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed myself. It's, it's very, very hard. I think for anybody, it's hard to understand how people can be so cruel to each other. It's very difficult to imagine and understand. And so in those moments when we have this level of overwhelm. And actually I'm going to, I'm going to have a free training this Friday, I think at like one o'clock my time. So what's that? Three o'clock Eastern about how to stop. You basically, if you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed and burnt out right now as an empath, what things you can put in place to make sure that you don't have that happen. So you're welcome to join that. But right now is one of those times that it is you know, I've talked about this over and over again, I feel like throughout the, the program, but I feel even more passionately about the fact that we each truly need to double down to make sure that we are living our lives on purpose, to make sure that, you know, the goodness that's in our hearts, the desire to heal, the desire to create a better world, that we take steps forward that align us with our own dream lives and that then send out that frequency to others. It's time, honestly, I'm so sick of megalomaniac people starting things in this world. It is time for the kind people, the good people, the empaths, the highly sensitive people of the world to understand how to get rid of 
the, the self-doubt, to understand how to get rid of the limiting beliefs, to understand how to get rid of the things that are stopping you in your tracks or making you feel like you don't deserve the life of your dreams, and to be able to rise up and get the life of your dreams. And in so doing, because we are the good people, we are the ones who want better in this world, we start making an impact on this world. We start shifting this. Because honestly, the way that this is, the way this is going and you know, these egomaniac people at the top that are just starting this insanity, it's enough. Like we gotta stop. This is craziness. We've been doing this as 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 human beings for way too long. And it is time for those of us that are are really good people to rise up and go to the next step and, and manifest our dream life, but also manifest better in this world. Sorry, this is my little soapbox this morning, but it's just driving me absolutely insane. This is, this is not the way the world should be, needs to be. It's just not. When we each grab our own power, when we know how to shift those limiting beliefs, when we know how to step forward, when we stop doubting ourselves and put the best we have to offer out into the world, whatever it is, whatever you're intended to do in this world. It doesn't matter to me. If you're intended to do it, then it is on purpose. It is making a difference. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? When we do that, we are making the world a better place. And so we have to collectively stop doubting. We have to stop holding ourselves back. So whatever it is you do in this world, you know, my mission is let's get all of that fixed so you can go forward. All of that long soapbox to say that it is so important right now for anybody who's feeling overwhelmed, because I know, as I say, I am, I'm getting messages all left and right about more and more people. Just, I just got one actually from somebody that's a parent of my, my daughter's breakdance class. And she's like, I just need help. I'm overwhelmed. This is just too much. And it is, it's too much. It's too much. So if you're feeling that way, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to sit down with your practices, take that time for yourself. Because a lot of times, guys, what we do as kind and sensitive people, we call it self-care and it's not actually self-care, it's rescue care, right? Because we've gotten to the point of burnout. We've gotten to the point of overwhelm and then, oh, we're gonna go finally go get a massage or finally go get, you know, go take a walk for, you know, finally go get an, a workout and a yoga or something, whatever it is for you. And that's actually rescue care because we're, we're at the point of burnout to the point we can't push forward anymore. And what I'm advocating for all of you is to see your daily practices as preventative self-care in some ways, because you're feeding your soul first. You're giving your frequencies, you're up-leveling your frequencies first. Okay. You're choosing those things first for yourself. And by so doing, you aren't allowing yourself to get all the way down into the, you know, the, the depths <laughs> of, of despair, as my daughter will say, when I'm trying to do her hair, she's being very dramatic. So that's what I want you to think of this is, as is preventative care. Okay. As stepping forward in a way that allows you to have that energy for yourself first. So what can you do? Number one, I, I'll just, I'm going to give you my daily schedule and I want you to find ways to work it into your own schedule in a way that makes sense for you and that feels good to you. Okay. So for me, I end up waking up at like five in the morning, every morning. The reason I do that is because I happen to have a little one who's an early riser. So if I don't get up at five, I don't, I can't pull any of this off. So I get up at five, I make myself some coffee. I, coffee for me is definitely like, it's just something about it, the smell of it and whatever, and the warmth in the morning. So for you, it might be something different. It might be tea. It might be, you know, fresh baked roll. It might be, you know, any of those things. That's great. And then what I do is I actually go up, right? We have a, as I've talked about before, we've got this fourth floor deck getting a little chilly out there now. So I've got a bunch of blankets. So eventually I won't be able to do it outside, but I sit outside and I, the first thing I do is 10 minutes of reading, 10 minutes of reading of something that's going to inspire me. Sometimes it's my own book because I have to remember, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> like I did, this is really great work. Or sometimes it's something else, somebody else that I love. Like uh, there's a lady I love that did something. And some of this was taken from how she does it. It's called the gratitude formula. And I cannot remember, it's May something. Anyways, 
that's one that's really good to read. Jen Sincero, also really good to read. And so that 10, I just literally set my timer and I do 10 minutes of up leveling the way that I'm feeling and thinking by reading something inspiring. You can also read if you have like a biography that inspires you, that's like, you know, someone who's done what you want to do, um, you can do that. <clears throat> and then after those 10 minutes, I actually do my future journaling. And I sit down and write out for five minutes what whatever it is that I want to have happen that day. Okay. Or if I'm looking ahead, you can write out what you want to have happen, you know, in the next six months or whatever it is for you. It doesn't matter to me. I like to do it on a daily basis because it just helps me align and really like, this is how my day is going to go today. And then I also write out in statements of gratitude as if it's in the present moment. So I'll write out, I'm so grateful for the love that I get from the people that I work with today, for instance, right? I'm so grateful that I've been able to make an impact on the world. I'm so grateful that like today I'm teaching, I have my mastermind group for my practitioner certification and I absolutely love the people that are in there. And so it's like, I'm so grateful that I have these amazing people in my practitioner certification and that I'm able to help them in exactly the ways they need, right? So those are some of the gratitude statements that I tend to put in my future journaling, okay? So you can do that too with whatever it is. I'm so grateful. I'm feeling so inspired today. Joan, I see you're here. So I'm so grateful. I feel so inspired today that I easily move through the middle of my book that I'm working on. You know, I'm so grateful that all the ideas for the middle of my book come together, right? Or I see Donna, you're on. So it's like, I'm so grateful that I get to live my sole purpose today by offering healing to all that I meet and by offering, you know, goodness and healing to the animals that I'm, that I am connected with. However, that's, you know, however you want to say it, it doesn't matter. But again, it can be other things. Like I'm so grateful that a miracle happens today. I'm so grateful that financially I get an unexpected windfall. I'm so grateful that something, whatever. And again, when I, I talked about this, when I talked about the future journaling originally, but literally I have a future journaling that I wrote the day that my daughter was born unbeknownst to me. I didn't know she was born. And it was, we will get amazing news today about the adoption. And it's like, I think I said something else around that. And while it wasn't that day, unbeknownst to me, everything was connecting up and we got the call the next day for my sweet little girl. Okay. So this is why it's powerful. And the, the second you do that, you're also getting yourself ready for how's this day going to look, okay? So it could even be something like, I'm so grateful for, you know, that I'm able to do my four for 40 so beautifully and wonderfully. Now, the next thing I do is I do at least two of my four for 40 exercises or practices, right? So for me, I like to, for me, one of the ones I do is visualizing. So I visualize like something literally happening. So for me, I sit down and I take 10 minutes to visualize everything laying out exactly as it is. For me, visual is very important. I also have something that I hold. So I think Donna, we were talking about like a blanket. So I have something that's like that, that's soft and makes me feel safe. And right now, adding that right now for anybody whose nervous system is overloaded, adding something around feeling very safe in your body is really important, really a good thing to do right now because it's just the frequency of the world is just continuing to feel a little unsteady. So it's important we steady ourselves, okay? So that's how I do it. Now, the next thing I do for myself is, and it depends on what your schedule is or how that goes. So for me in the morning, when I get into my office, I'm doing a couple more of my four for 40 things. So I like, I spray orange oil and I spray it all around to clear my space. And I actively use my retuning statements that I'm working on right now to literally clear my space. And I use these retuning statements and I state them out loud for me. Okay. Another way to do it is to actually put them up. We talked a little bit, but you can put them up on your bathroom mirror so that it's like when you're brushing your teeth and washing your face, you do your statements. Now I will tell you a cool thing to do if you're doing those statements is first make sure that you're getting yourself in an emotional state where you feel aligned and happy, okay? Or where you feel excited about what, what you're connecting to. 
And then you can look yourself in the eyes in the mirror as you're doing your statements. Now, what's really interesting is if you do this at first, it won't feel, it won't feel right. But as you do this, you can actually look in your pupils. And when you start to actually accept the retuning statements into your, into your mind, actually accepting them into your mind, your spirit, your body, your pupils will actually start to open up. I have not figured out why that is yet. I'm not sure, but I can tell you from many, many years of doing this, that that is what happens. So that's another option. And finally, so I want you to find ways to work this into your day-to-day -day life. So maybe for you, if you're an auditory person and you have a song, like there's a song that I'll, I'll post it in the group. This song is a song that I use every morning to kind of get myself aligned with my truth. I think it's actually a really important song as we are all rising to make this world a better place so that we are not afraid of putting our truth out there anymore or helping in the ways we're supposed to help. Um, and it's from the, the Greatest Showman. It's This Is Me. I don't know if anybody has seen that or heard that. It's outstanding. And there's a video of it that's extremely powerful. So I'll put that up in the group. So that's something you can use, okay? And then at the end of the day, what I always like to do at the end of the day is to actually sit down and write out how did my day go? How aligned was I that day? How aligned was I with my intuition? And then what am I grateful for from that day? Okay, what am I grateful for? What are, what are we, you know, what happened that day that was just unbelievable and exciting and really happened just even just little things that I'm grateful for, you know, you know, feeling more aligned with my life purpose, for instance, or something little like, you know, I don't know, my, my cute little daughter came in and said this or that, or my husband, whatever, you know, there's all these things we have to be grateful for. The more that we stick to, we, we use this kind of a process to kind of, I think of it almost like bookends to the day. So you have your waking up in the morning and doing that practice. And then you have your evening practice where you're letting go. A final thing I like to do, which I actually took from the gratitude formula, which again, I will, I think it's Mae McCarthy, I think. Anyways, is that she has a forgiveness practice at the end of the day. And I think that's also really lovely. So it's, I forgive myself for anything that I have done. And I forgive anyone in my life for anything they have done. And you just like say that out loud a couple of times to kind of release any lingering things. And a lot of times if we've been, if we're really hard on ourselves, a good one is I forgive myself for being so hard on myself because I, you know, I learned it. I didn't know better. Okay. So those are kind of some of the processes that we use. I would love to, in the group, I would love to see if you guys have some of your daily practices and you want to put them up or you want to, you want me to take a look at them to help you kind of craft them a little bit differently. Um, please let me know. So one thing I want to talk to you guys about is, so because we are going to start ending the daily trainings, there's still going to be a weekly manifestation meditation. I may move that to Tuesday mornings just because I usually like to have Mondays to do a bunch of like sort of things um, mentally and emotionally for myself. So I may move them just so I can move that around. So that might be Tuesdays. I will continue in the group. We will continue to support hosts and those kinds of things. For those of you who would like to really have next level support, I was going to start just a mastermind that was going to be maybe a next, next thing just within this group. And then I started thinking about it. Honestly, the absolute most amazing best thing that I have is my practitioner certifications. You don't actually have to get certified completely. If you don't want to, that's fine. Because what I do is you get a weekly, I only take four to six people a month. So I take a really small group. Each week you have an hour group mentoring with me. So it's it's not this, we do it as a Zoom, as a normal Zoom call, meeting call, where everybody gets individual support. It's an incredible amount of individual support. But on top of that, here's why I think it's an amazing thing. On top of that, you get the beginning of it is actually, you know what? I'll share really quick. I forgot. I'm just going to share. This isn't, again, this isn't going to be for everybody, but it might be for some of you who really want to step in. So the first like six weeks 
of the program is this incredible orientation period. And honestly, what I wrote here really doesn't cover all of it, but it helps like the intuition. There's like a huge whole week on developing your intuition, on clearing out your own blocks and anything that's holding you back. Again, you don't actually, if you want to be certified, I would love it because I really want people, I want more people out there really healing people with their own soul gifts. One of the things I don't talk about enough is that I help people identify their soul gifts. And then we literally create an entire thing around their soul gifts. So no matter who you are or what you do, this is, I mean, I have the people that have gone through this right now and are going through it right now have said like this phase and the next phase are completely life-changing. Like they, they go through and, and I can be there to help. Cause a lot of times they do go through a little bit of a healing crisis because we are clearing out some stuff pretty quickly. <laughs> and so I'm there to be able on a weekly basis to help. You are basically getting the highest level of coaching that I can offer and mentoring that I can offer each and every week, which is incredible. If you do want whatever you're doing with your, with your, your work, if you do want to become a practitioner, I actually help you create your social presence. I actually help you create your logo your eventually your like like your like slogan motto i guess and i go through all of this so it's completely aligned to you i get your help you get your brand look and feel and this would work for anybody i love to do this this is the entrepreneurial part of me so i love to do it so even if it's not you're not going to necessarily use it completely for a practitioner but you're doing some other kind of work I'm happy to help with that too. So that's part of it. This is the next phase. And this is the phase that people are like, I have never gone through. So this literally helps you, especially if you are feeling super overwhelmed right now, this phase will completely change how much you take on. It will completely change how you use your gifts, your empath gifts and your highly sensitive nature. And again, so these things, these phases, you can move through them at your own pace. Like I've made it in a way that we have the, the weekly mentoring sessions, but you can be in one phase and somebody else can be in another phase. And it's totally fine. Actually, I have four different calls throughout the week. So you can come to the phase that you need support in. So that phase I get from everyone is hugely life-changing, which I'm super proud of. I mean, I, one thing that I I'm very proud of is I think a lot of times when people are getting training of whatever level, whether it's to become a coach, a therapist, a social worker, even in healthcare workers, I've had a nurse move through the program or really anything that they're doing. A lot of times nobody's teaching people, how do they how do they actually align themselves so they don't get overwhelmed in the work? Because what happens is, and I can tell you flat out, it happened to me when I started this work. If you don't know how to master all of these gifts, if you don't know how to master your own energy, if you don't know how to turn things on and off, disconnect when you need to, you will burn out. You will burn out. And I did burn out completely. And that's why I made sure that at the front end of this whole thing, it is about six to eight weeks of just clearing out, aligning, shifting, you know, just understanding your soul gifts, understanding who you're supposed to serve in this world, whatever it is, whoever you are, what you want to do. So that is, I'm so proud of this, honestly, so proud of, and you've seen the way that I train. So it's pretty, it's very in-depth. And then you get a private session with me. So the private session alone is actually worth quite a bit of money because I'm only doing a few of them now because they are so intensive. Um, so you get your own transformation. We go through everything for you. We figure everything out for yourself. You get, I literally create a bespoke, your bespoke transformation plan for you, etc. So you come through it and feel like a completely different person. And I have one of the ladies that's in, in there right now. She is certified in about five different things. And she's like, Tara, I've never, <laughs> like, we just in an hour and a half, like basically knocked out block, 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 block. And now she's completely different. Like, it's just, she's like, I've been through so many certifications and I had no idea this was the route. So, I mean, that's what I do. This is my gift. And this is what I train. I teach you to do. If you decide to do it as a certification, if you don't, you can use it with friends and family, or you can just use this as a mastermind for you. So you can keep going with this. And then a lot of this, this is so in-depth. So we've done so much of the flow method through this Manifest Your Dream Life Academy, but I go even deeper. Like there is so much within what I've done here. You have, I don't even know how many, I, I, I should probably go look. 
there's so many practices that I've put in this thing. It's like you have access to so much, so many downloads, so much practice, so many practices, so many things to help you as you move through. So this is, and this is to kind of help again, understand deeply, how do you use this methodology in your own life? And for, if you decide to take on clients as well, and then if people want to, that's when they can start taking on paid clients because they'll be certified as a flow method practitioner. And that I absolutely love. And then the second thing is I actually take you through learning how to translate the message behind any pain or disease in one to three minutes. This one is so cool because it, once you know how to do this part of it, you use it for the rest of your life. Like, honestly, it's, it's literally like a foreign language. Once you learn it, you now know exactly. So whatever pain you might have, whatever thing that happens to come up, you can bring so much power to your life by going, oh, okay, I'm having a lot of pain in my shoulder. I just had it happen. Actually, my right rib popped out and I had to think through like, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> that, that, what, is, what is it feeling like? And I know personally, I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself about moving forward, taking actions, doing these things. And it's from a very masculine perspective, like that pushing, pushing forward. And it was almost like, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, and I have to work on it myself, but that kind of like almost toxic pushing on yourself till you can't keep going. Right. And that's not good. And that, that, that was, I could tell that from this rib thing. So this is one of the cooling thing, coolest things you can literally everyone who's come through this phase of the program, and I actually timed them, part of the process of getting certified is I will, I give you, without the names, obviously, I'll give you real world scenarios of people that I've actually worked with. So I know what the underlying issue is. And every, I, I give it to you. And everyone who's done it so far has been able to absolutely nail this within three minutes, nail it. Like, they can translate the message behind anybody's pain or disease within three minutes. And I was super nervous teaching this because I was like, can I teach other people how to do what I do on my healing side? And the answer I'm very happy to say is yes. So this is such, I'm so proud, honestly, of, of this program. I really am. I, I'm proud. I, I mean, what I get all the time from the people that are in there is just how grateful they are that I'm there to help them. I hold some space and get them through it and make sure that they're going to come out the other side and be able to use this as their work if they want to. So after that, you can start taking on clients and helping with pain and disease and helping them heal. At this point, I will tell you what I've done at this point, and that's for anybody who decides to do this or anybody who's working on these things. I've helped them get their website, social media, all that stuff set up so they're ready to roll. And then the final phase, which you have total access to, if you decide you want to do that, is building your six-figure healing practice. And so all of that, I actually weave quite a bit of this throughout the entire training, just because I like to get people kind of set up for success. But this part right here is, you know, there's so many certifications that people teach and there's these like masterminds and groups, and they aren't actually teaching people how to put this in practice. What do they do with it? And so you've got people have these amazing certifications and they don't know how to reach people and they don't know how to build their brand and they don't know how to let people know that they're, they're able to do this, that this is what they do. So I just want to tell you guys about this. This is really the next amazing step. If you want to step in deeper to this and do this kind of stuff, whether you want to do it as a work or you just want to use this as like the highest possible level mastermind, I will say that the normally the cost on this is, or the investment on this is $5.55 a month, but I am, which is already honestly, <laughs> for what you get is very, very low because a lot of these like masterminds are upwards of 15,000 a year and they're like twice a month, which I can tell you because I'm in one. <laughs> so, so what I'm giving actually is, is, is a lot more for that money, but actually I'm going to offer it to you guys only for the people who've been here live and who signed up for the Manifest Your Dream Life Academy, it's going to be $3.33 a month for 10 months. So you get 10 full months of training with me, 10 full months of being able to shift all of these things, 10 full months of support. I can promise you by the end of this, you will, I, I am so proud of the people who've come through this already. Some of them, quite honestly, are using it. I have one person, one guy who is he focused in what we realized his soul group was, was visionary entrepreneurs. 
So he's focusing in on working with visionary entrepreneurs now, and his business is booming. And I'm so proud of him because he understands who he is, what his message is supposed to be, what he's supposed to be doing, who he's supposed to be serving. I'm so proud of him. I've got another amazing woman who's a social worker over in Ireland, and she is helping a very difficult or very underserved population with helping them to pinpoint what's going on. So they're pinpointing, she's, she's, I don't know how many certifications she has, plus being a social worker, but She's saying, she's like, it's, I've never had anything work this fast for people because I can pinpoint what's going on and then immediately let them, you know, help get them through that process. And so, and some of the people just went through it for their own personal training. And that's fine too, because either way, I feel like whether you use it in your work or you use it in your life, you're, you're bringing your frequency up, you're bettering yourself, you're, you know, releasing all the limiting beliefs at a really, really deep level. So I would absolutely love if any of you guys feel like this is something you want to step into. Normally I do this whole interview process, but I've been with you guys for the last few months and I have total confidence in the people that are here. So I'm not worried about you guys stepping into it. I would say if you want to do this, I will put the link up to be able to sign up. You can start whenever you want to start. So again, this is something you can move through at your own pace, but you can also come to, you can literally every week, you have an option of four different, every phase that you're in, there's a different call and you can come to that and you get absolutely top level mentoring um, for an entire hour with me. And I help you with literally anything that you have going on, help get you put back. I, I've had quite a few people I've put back together and help them, <laughs> help them keep going. Cause you know, there's, you know, there's the healing crisis and this is one of the ways I can help people get through it. So as I say, I was going to put together like an extra mastermind. And honestly, this is, this is such an incredible set. This is an incredible amount of support for the investment and an incredible process for anybody and I'd be so excited if any of you were ready to step into something like this. It would be, I would just love to have you. So you can let me know. I will put the link up. You can sign up whenever you like, but the 333 offer for you guys, because I have to give it a little bit of, you know, time stamp on that one, because otherwise people don't, don't act. So if you're called to do it, I cannot tell you, you will not regret this. I promise you it's such high level stuff. I'm going to say that by next Monday, it's going to go back up to the 555 a month for 10 months, or I will say there's also hundred percent financing available. So if you want that, I do have it. It's through basically a bank that I'm, I work with that allows people to have their own situation there. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to put up all the information about it in the group. You can let me know. I would love to have you guys there. Thank you guys that are here, Donna and Joan, that are here live with me today. I would be delighted to have anybody, any of you step into this because I think, I just know seeing what people, thanks Joan, sending you so much love. I just know, I just know how people come out on the other end. I just actually had one of the guys that came through and got certified last year, just sent me a note and was like, everything's come together. It was the cutest thing. I just show you the text, but he said, Tara, it's exactly how you told me it was going to be. Everything has come together. You were completely right, which is always nice to hear. <laughs> Not that I care. I don't care that much about being right, but that was, <laughs> so that is why I know you will come through this, you know, nine to 10 months. And you will truly be able to not only use all of these skills every single day, you can use them for other people. You can become the practitioner you're meant to be. You can have all the support that you need to be able to step into this. So thank you guys for being here. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Look for that in the group as well. I would be thrilled to have you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.